कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वे
Hare Krishna. <laughs> so nice to see everyone today. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mata. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mata. Hare Krishna Priti Vilasi Mataji. Hare Krishna everybody. Yay! We are continuing our series of Brihad Bhagavatam Vita. Correct? So who, okay, let me ask you a question. Who is the hero of our story? Narada Muni. Narada Muni. Very good. Where is Narada Muni? What is Narada Muni trying to do? Looking for the Do you know something? We have reached the climax of the story. We're going to finish the story today of Narada finding the greatest devotee. And from next week, we're going to start a new story. Okay, the story of Gopakumar. Hmm? That's going to be from next Monday. So oh, we're finishing story of today. Only part one, not the whole story. Only part one of the story. Okay, part one is Narada. How many story. parts are there? Only two parts. Okay, only two parts. So the first part we'll finish today. Narada trying to find the greatest devotee. You already know the answer. He found the greatest devotee. And the greatest devotee are the... Who are they? Gopis. 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 Very good. So the Gopis are the greatest devotees. And among the Gopis, Radharani is the greatest devotee of the Lord. So he found the answer. But what happened after that? How did the story end? That is what we are going to do today. And then we are going to play Kahoot. Okay? So Kahoot quiz. We are going to have that as the activity today. So... I think uh, we'll send you a link, kahoot.it. That's where you would go and you would function your answers as we send it on the group. So get ready. After this ending of the story, mm -hmm. we will do Kahoot quiz. Okay. Okay. Let's enter the fascinating story of Sri Vrihat Bhagavatam. So what happened yesterday? Ratnavali Mataji was discussing, right? What happened? Uh, yeah. So Satya Mama got angry. She's the angry lady. <laughs> so she got very, very angry that Krishna is giving all the attention to all the gopis and she was very, very upset. But Krishna told Satya Mama, come here. I want to talk to you something very, very important. So Krishna wanted to explain not only to Satya Mama, but to all of us how the gopis actually are the greatest. Though they don't see Krishna regularly, still they love Krishna so much and how they are the best of the devotees. Okay, so that is what Krishna is going to explain to Satya Bhama and all of them. So Krishna very angrily, he called Satya Bhama. Satya Bhama got scared. So usually she controls Krishna, but she knew that Krishna was a little angry this time. So she immediately listened to his orders. She went, she took a bath, she dressed up herself and she came and she was very embarrassed to show her face in front of Krishna. So you know what she did? She hid behind a pillar and she was trying to see if Krishna is okay so that she could go and talk to Krishna. Then Krishna called her and he said, Oh, Satrajiti. Satrajiti means daughter of Satrajit. Satyavama's father's name is Satrajit. So she said, Hey, you silly daughter of Satrajit. Don't feel jealous of the gopis. The gopis are, um, they are great personalities and they are the greatest of all devotees. They have done so much for me. They have forgotten their home, their family, their needs and wants and they would do anything. They would do anything to please me. So, uh, in fact, their pain won't be calmed even if I go and see them. So this is an answer that he's trying to tell Uddhava and others. So everyone was telling Krishna, you should go and see the gopis. If you go and see the gopis, immediately all their pain will be removed and they will feel happy. But then Krishna is explaining here, no, that is not the truth. Even if I go now, their pain won't be calmed. They'll be continuously disturbed because after seeing me after so many years, if I go and stay with them for one hour, and then I say, Tata, bye-bye, and I go back to Dwaraka. You think they're going to be happy? They won't be happy. They'll be very, very upset. Their pain will increase manifold. 
because krishna knows very well that if he goes to vrindavan he cannot stay with them forever right he has to say hello and then he has to come back when you all go on a trip how long do you stay you go for three days four days if you go to india you go for one month right then you have to come back home but how do the people how do your grandparents feel in india they feel very bad right my grandchild is going home so like that the gopis their intensity of love is very very high so if krishna shows some hope if he gives some hope he goes and he meets them stays with them for some time and after the period is over he says bye bye and he goes the devotees are going to feel very pain in heart they are not going to feel happy about it their pain will increase a thousand times it will double their grief so um, so like this that's the reason why i don't want to go there and spoil whatever we are actually undergoing now so the gopis in separation from krishna they got used to it okay so much so that do krishna was not with them they were constantly seeing krishna everywhere just like when you like something very much wherever you go you feel like you're seeing that supposing you you like uh, what's your favorite food item anyone like paneer yes okay so suppose pizza oh. yes yeah. so, Yes, Rishya. Yeah. So if you are very fond of paneer, right? If you go to someone's house, everywhere you go inside the kitchen and you try to open every little box, you are searching for that paneer. Is paneer here? Is paneer here? Is paneer here? So your whole focus is on paneer, right? So when you like something a lot, okay, you see that object of love everywhere you go. Now, paneer is a very mundane example that is for our level because we all like eating. But for the gopis, what do they like most? They like Krishna the most, right? So wherever they go, they would constantly be seeing Krishna everywhere. So that was their mood. So Krishna was telling, now whatever the gopis are feeling, let them continue to feel that because when they are trying to constantly see me everywhere, it is giving them some sort of happiness. Ah, uh, when you are thinking about something you like a lot, you are like gulab jamun. If you are thinking about gulab jamun all the time, yeah, feel some sort of happiness, right? <gasps> gulab jamun tastes so good. You know, you have that happiness in your mind. So like that, uh, Krishna is telling. They would constantly feel that happiness, and uh, they would constantly be happy, right? Seeing, be thinking about Krishna. so that sort of happiness is very unique whatever they are feeling it's a very unique sort of uh, uh, you know uh, emotion just like when there is sugar candy you all get candies for halloween right so when you eat sugar candy and that sugar candy is very hot okay meaning if you just go heat it up okay like hot hot meaning not spicy really really temperature hot when you put it in your tongue what happens it burns your tongue right but there is some sort of sweetness that is there in the tongue and you want to eat it more and more so that is actually the emotion that the gopis are feeling though externally it appears that the gopis are suffering they are in anxiety actually internally how are they feeling they are feeling very very blissful in krishna consciousness because they are seeing krishna all the time so he explains the glory of the gopis to whom to satya bhama and keeping satya bama and friend he is actually explaining this to everyone everyone how the gopis are actually the top most devotees then he told everyone look you are all thinking that i left the gopis and i'm very happy here that's not the truth i'm not very happy in dwaraka as much as the gopis are suffering in separation from me even i also feel very very bad to be separated from them and in fact i married all the queens here only because all of you queens are reminding me of the 16000 gopis in vrindavan rukmini wrote a letter and she said oh i will die if you don't come krishna that is the reason i had to go running and i married her similarly i married all the gopis because of their request that is the reason and whenever i uh, all the sorry all the ladies in dwaraka uh, because of their request all the queens So he says, whenever I see the queens of Dwaraka, I constantly get reminded of the gopis, and that is the only thing that is giving me happiness. But the truth is, only in Vrindavan I have had the highest happiness. Besides Vrindavan, in no other place have I been so happy. 
then he says you know with the cowherd boys we all used to go and we used to play we used to go to the forest of vrindavan we would steal butter and we would play and we would have so much fun not only that there would be one demon who would come every time during lunch break okay so whenever the gopas the cowherd boys would go to the forest at that time demons would come and almost they would face one demon per day during lunch break that was the timing of the <laughs> demons to our right so krishna says for me handling those demons was like a child's play it was like having fun with toys that's how i felt i thoroughly enjoyed my time in vrindavan and he says in dwaraka it's so boring i can't even play my flute in vrindavan i would go to the forest i would have the flute i would have the buffalo horn we would sing and we would play we would do all those things but in dwaraka i'm such a big king i can't even freely play my flute i can't joke with my friends see with those cowherd boys we would stand up on each other and we would steal butter so much fun so you the kids are all very small now right so all of you can have lots of fun you can go out you can play you can joke you can do all that but look at your parents they are grown up right you think your parents would be doing all that no the so krishna is telling now i'm here i've become a big man i'm here in dwaraka i'm not having all that fun you ask your parents they tell you our childhood days were the best i could go and play i could go to school i had fun with my friends they tell you all that why because they've also seen that side of life and that is the glorious period best period is when you're a kid okay so but once you're grown up you'll be missing all that so krishna is telling i'm this as the thing in vrindavan and then again he started thinking about his life in vrindavan oh tava got very worried because already when krishna was thinking so much about the life in vrindavan they had to create navavrindavan right they had to create a replica and then brahma had to come and so much happened to revive krishna so tava was thinking again krishna will faint now again one more drama will start so tava was very smart he immediately told all the queens hey queens go and get some food and you know change krishna's mood so immediately the mothers who are devaki and rohini they all hurried to the kitchen so that they could cook something for krishna and then uh, the queens they started arranging the dining table so that krishna and everyone else could actually sit down and eat okay had that time narada muni he was very embarrassed see when uh, brahma took krishna and balaram to navavrindavan on top of garuda at that time narada muni was hiding behind the clouds and he was watching he did not dare to go in front of krishna why because he was very worried because he thought because of him right because he kept asking so many questions he went from one devotee to other because of him he felt that krishna has been put to such a state of being rem- reminded of the gopis so he felt very embarrassed he didn't come in front of krishna but then krishna called him krishna said hey narada where are you hiding come here i want to see you so narada muni very very worriedly he showed himself in front of krishna and then krishna he expressed his gratitude for the great favor that narada muni did only because narada asked so many questions was they were they able to get into this conversation about the gopis right so krishna thanked he thanked uh, narada for bringing up this topic and for searching out for the greatest devotee so he told narada you have done me a wonderful favor and the separation of the gopis that they are facing in separation from me that is very pleasing to the mind and it cannot be described by words okay they are love in separation it's called vitra lamba you might have heard this word it's a very sweet feeling when you love someone and you're not able to see them you're constantly thinking about that person that is love and separation so he says that that love and separation is very very special it cannot be expressed by words and it brings a lot of pleasure to the heart okay he says that and then here are some analogies as i told you the hot sugar candy right if sugar candy is very sweet if it is heated it will burn your tongue but you cannot stop eating it because it is so sweet so that's exactly what the gopis are feeling another analogy is holding ice okay supposing you go to the freezer you all have ice vending machine you go you take a piece of ice and hold it for a long time what will happen 
Anyone wants to take a guess? Hands will become it melts, Mataji. It melts. It melts, okay. My Holy. hand becomes numb. Because, Mataji, your hand becomes very, very cold and you might get sick. Yeah. Like if your hand gets really cold and it gets very numb for me. Numb, yeah. After it becomes numb. Your hand becomes numb. The same eyes that was so cold, right? Initially you felt that cooling sensation. After some time it becomes numb. I can see. Huh. I don't I like to eat chocolate because chocolates have a little bit of sugar in them. Yeah, that's true. Even I like chocolate because it has sugar. Or a lot. Me too. I like chocolate. Okay. So, uh, you know, when you hold ice for a long time, initially it's cold. Then your hand starts becoming numb. If you continue to hold it, you'll feel a slight burning sensation. There'll be tingling that numbness will result in a burning sensation. Now, ice is supposed to be cold. But how did it make you numb and how did it burn you? It's a contradictory, right? So like that, the gopis, externally, it may be appearing that they are always very sad and separation from Krishna. But internally, their emotion is very different. Inside, they are feeling some sort of an ecstasy, some sort of unhappiness being in separation from Krishna. So he explained all this to Narada Muni. And then Narada Muni was very, very satisfied. Krishna was also very happy with Narada. So he told Narada, I want to give you a boon. So please ask for a boon. Then you know what boon Narada asked. If we are asked for a boon, what will we ask? I want this toy. I want that toy. I want to eat gulab jamun. These are our desires, right? But Narada Muni, he asked for one boon. He said, anyone who has come to devotional service should never feel satisfied that he has received your mercy. <laughs> this is funny, right? So this is the boon that he had asked. And because of Narada Muni's boon, and Krishna said, Tatastu, I give you that boon. Because of that boon, today, how much of a devotional service you do, you won't feel satisfied. You'll feel, I want to do more. I want to do more. Don't you guys feel like that? When you hear about Krishna, when you chant about Krishna, when you claim Rudanga, do you feel like, I want to go do more? I want to go to the temple. I want to enjoy more. Don't you feel like that? So yes. you, yeah, you're feeling like that because Narada asked for this boon. He asked Krishna, give me that boon. Then Krishna smiled and he said, ah, that is the nature of devotional service. That you will never feel like it is enough. You will keep wanting to do more and more and more. Then he says, that is the very nature of bhakti. So ask something different. Then uh, he says that, uh, look, I want... Uh, constantly be hearing about your glories, chanting your holy names, and spread your glories wherever I go. Whenever, whatever I'm speaking, whatever I'm thinking, whatever I'm hearing, I should be constantly immersed in the pastimes of yours. And anyone who hears this Brihad Bhagavatam Rata, my journey of going to find the greatest devotee, if anybody hears it, like the kids on Bhakti Sangha, then you know what will happen to all of them? They will all get the power to worship your lotus feet in pure devotion. They will get Shuddha Bhakti. Pure devotion following in the footsteps of the gopis. So this is the Phalashrati of the entire Grihad Bhagavatam, the first part. Okay, so if you have all heard the story of Narada Muni, what are you getting? What is it that you're all getting? You're going to get? You didn't understand? Gift of pure Supreme devotion. Yes, pure devotional service following in the footsteps of the gopis. So because of Narad Muni, this is what we all have obtained. Okay, and Krishna also said, all these devotees, they are all great. We saw so many devotees, right? We saw the Brahmin Sayas, we saw the South Indian King, then we saw Indra, we saw Lord, Sh uh, Lord Brahma, we saw Lord Shiva, we saw Prahlad Maharaj, Pandavas, and then we saw the Yadavas, and then we saw Uddhava, and then we heard about the Gopis. We have seen all of these devotees. All of these devotees are very, very special, but there is some sort of a gradation in the intensity or the mood of love they have. Okay? So that is what Narada Muni wanted to emphasize 
through this entire journey in the Brihat Sagar account. Okay, so after that, Narada Muni, see this picture, it's very beautiful. Narada Muni was invited to get take lunch with Krishna. Satyabama took a fan and she started fanning Narada and Krishna. They had a nice conversation. All the wives and the mothers, they came and served opulent food. And after Narada had his food, Krishna uh, garlanded him, anointed him with nice fragrant oil, and then he prepared to set off from Narada. So Narada, he went back to Prayag. After he went through this entire journey, where did he go? He went back to the starting point to Prayag. Why did he go to Prayag? Because all these great sages were assembled there, right? He started his journey from there. So he went there and he declared to everyone, that the greatest of all the devotees are indeed the gopis of Vrindavan. So, who's telling the story? Parikshit Maharaj is telling this entire story to his mother, Uttara Devi, correct? So, Parikshit Maharaj told his mother, My dear mother, please take this advice. Please take the shelter of the gopis. Krishna is your master. Worship Krishna following in the footsteps of the gopis. If you worship Krishna following in the footsteps of the gopis, then you may be able to understand a little about Krishna's greatness or the greatness of the gopis. So uh, he says that uh, this narration, if you sincerely hear this narration, very soon you will attain love for Krishna and perfect your life. So this is the end of the first uh, part of Sri Vrihat Bhagavatamrita. So let's summarize quickly. So this is a nice uh, pictorial uh, summary. So everyone can look at the slides. These are the different pictures from Vrihat Bhagavatamrita. These are different paintings. We'll go step by step. Okay, this is a picture summary of the Sri Vrihat Bhagavatamrita part one. Here is Sanatan Goswami. Sanatan Goswami was the author of Vrihat Bhagavatamrita. The story was revealed to him through the deity by the name Madan Mohan in Vrindavan. He went to the Madan Mohan temple and he heard the story from the deity itself and he wrote it down. What is the story? The story was originally spoken by Parikshit Maharaj to his mother Uttara Devi. It was also recorded uh, in the Mahabharata as spoken by Jaimini to Janamejaya. Okay, so like this, there are different levels. So here is our author, Sanatan Goswami, who gave it to all of us in this world. The next painting you see, let's see, hold on. The next painting you see is the Brahmana in Prayag. Here is the Brahman who is worshipping his Shalagram Shila. Shalagrams, as we discussed earlier, are, um, they look like stones, they look like black colored stones or pebbles, but are actually they are the Supreme Lord himself. Okay, here is the Brahman. He was worshipping the Shalakram Shila and Narada Muni came to Prayag in the assembly of all these sages. The next, as he proceeded, of course, he goes and meets the South Indian king. And from the South Indian king, he goes on to meet Indra. From Indra, he goes to Brahma. And then he meets the most compassionate Lord Shiva. So this is a beautiful picture of Lord Shiva closing his ears and telling Narada, Narada, no, 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 I am not the greatest devotee of the Lord. So he's Vaishnavanam Yatha Shambhu. He's the greatest of all Vaishnavas. But he's so humble that he says that I am just a poor soul who's always hankering for the favor of the servant of his servants. So this is the mood of Lord Shiva. Then he went to Prahalad Maharaj. From Prahalad Maharaj, he goes to Hanuman. Here is Hanuman in Kim Purusha Varsha. Okay, and this is a very beautiful painting of Hanuman receiving Narada Muni. So Narada Muni comes flying, Hanuman opens his arm and then he clings on to Narada Muni's shoulders and they are jumping in ecstasy, chanting the holy names of Lord Ramachandra. So this is the painting of Hanuman receiving Narada. Then after we met Hanuman, he proceeded further to meet the Pandavas. From the Pandavas, he went to the Yadavas. And then here is a picture of Uddhava receiving Narada Muni. When Narada Muni goes to the palace of Rukmini Devi where Krishna was resting, at that time Narada was in so much happiness and ecstasy 
that he actually swooned at that time, meaning he just fell down unconscious because he had entered Krishna's palace. So Uddhava very carefully placed Narada Muni on the bed so that Narada could revive consciousness. This is a picture of Uddhava who looks very similar to Krishna because Uddhava dresses like Krishna and he has a complexion of Krishna. Yeah. So he receives Narada Muni and then he brings Narada Muni to consciousness. And then this is the story of Navavrindavan or the new Vrindavan that was created outside Dwaraka. Krishna and Balaram were taken on Garuda. Balaram first regains consciousness. Then carefully he puts Krishna on a bed. He tucks the flute in his waist and he dresses him like a cowherd boy. He puts Kadamba flowers and a peacock feather ornament on his head. And he, he adds gunja berry uh, earrings on his ears like as if he's a simple cowherd boy in Navavrindavan. So this is what Balaram is dressing up Krishna here. Then, after the Navavrindavan episode is over, who was hiding there in the pillar? Who's this lady? Satyabama. Satyabama, yes, Satyabama. The oh, weak-minded Satrajiti. Just as you grew angry when Rukmini obtained the special favors like the Parijata flower, now you're angry at our intense love for the people of Vrindavan. You silly woman, don't you know that I'm ruled by their desires? Krishna tells. Okay, so he calls Satyabhama. Then here is the very wonderful painting of Narada Muni honoring Prasadam with Krishna and all the wives serving them as they are eating. So this was Brihad Bhagavatam Rita, book one, and we have completed it, okay? What are we going to do now? We are going to have a Kahoot quiz. On Monday, we'll start the very beautiful story of the journey of Gopa Kumar. So here is our Gopa Kumar, this little young boy here. And here is a Brahmana who's going to make a journey all the way from Trak Jyotishpur to Keshikat. And we are going to see his story. After that, we will see the story of Gopa Kumar. Okay. So this is going to be a very long journey. Part one was short. You finished it fast. Part two will be there till the end of July. Okay. So now we'll go ahead with Kahoot. Before that, you have any questions? I'm ready to answer your questions. Did you all like the story? Was it different? Had you heard about the story? It was actually really. Hmm? What's that? When are we going to do it tomorrow? Tomorrow, tomorrow, Friday, what we will do is we have a special class by Lakshmi Mataji. Correct? Yeah. Lakshmi, yeah. Yes, yes, Mataji. Cooking class, we will send the ingredients and I can post here also. Uh, make sure that you get it. And tomorrow is afternoon class. Um, it is 12 o'clock CST, 1 o'clock EST. So I will put the ingredients here. Make sure you buy them so that we can make EST, something right? special. Yeah. Yeah, I will put it here. Mataji, also are it we here. doing Kahoot? Yes, so kahoot.it. Mataji, uh, will we be able to send that? Yeah, yeah, I already Mataji, I'm on it. No. Yeah, me too. Mataji, I'm on it. Excellent. Me too, Mataji, I'm on it. Mataji, I'm joining through the um, smartphone. So, uh, Mataji, what is the... I need the code for it. I will need the code. Yeah, Mataji will give it for us. We need to wait. Yeah, I will give Mataji. Oh, wait <laughs> one second. I'll give it to you. Yeah, the pin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, so, hold on. Let's uh, send Kahoot, but let's start. I'm just looking at the settings if everyone can see on both the uh, devices. Okay. Mathur, you can also send the QR code also, Mathur. Yeah. Definitely. What is the QR code? You have to send a picture, I think, or something like that. Oh, sorry. You can send pin or QR code. Both uh, on my on the smartphone it allows both. Hold on, but but maybe on some other uh, devices might only allow enter pin. So maybe only pin will send. Or I don't know. Okay. So oh, pin is okay. Got the pin. You got the QR code as well. Yeah, the QR code is right next to the pin. Yeah. So if you want to scan, so can scan that QR code. Wait, forgot. Yeah, you can scan that QR code. Just put. Two four seven two zero six five is your pin. Huh? Suraj. Hmm. 
Who's Diplomat Guy? Who's Diplomat Eagle 81, by the way? Um, Who's Joe? Yeah. Mataji. Who's AA? And who's AA? Mataji, what are we doing right now? Nobody likes to figure out what what uh, Joe is for some reason. No, even AA. Who is it? Who's bra? Who's sweet? Who's bra? Who's Joe? Yeah. And who's AA at the first? I have no clue. Yeah. Deepa and Drupa. Joyful 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 Who's Abba the better? No button. Uh, uh, better. We have 35 participants and I have only 19. Oh, what? One pray. The one pray. Who is? It's not e Who's Aria? Aira. Who's Aira? So, for those of you who are new to Kahoot, you need to go to kahoot.it and then type the spin 247 2065. What if it all the device allows you? You can just scan the QR code there. Yeah, you can scan who, the QR who type code. their name in Telugu. It says Krishna, right? In Telugu. What's wrong with Nandana? Typing uh, Mataji, eject all the uh, wrong names. Eject all the wrong names. Eject A A T. We have twenty four participants. We have thirty four participants and twenty six. Mataji, eject the participants which who don't have proper name. It doesn't matter. Like A A Bra Sweet. Um, the one brain, 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 sweet, um, sweet, bra, sweet, bra, and uh, era. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's some one possible name, and Joe also, and Joyful Otter. But Krishna is, I think, Krishna Naina, right? Krishna Naina, yeah, I couldn't find my full name. Yeah, I know it doesn't allow. Uh, sometimes you, uh, there's a this uh, setting yeah. on your computer where like it only lets you type in one language. Let's... No, you can change that setting plus. Can you take out Joe. You can actually Google? change the spe you, you can actually change the sp uh, spelling. You can change the spelling. Okay. Just, anyone just anyone has to to that I'm just copy the paste. Anyone can you has eject any for water? Oh, joyful order, joyful order keeps exiting and then again joining. Question. And uh, eject Joe. The who's Joe? Yeah, and who's Joe? Okay. And who's no, Joe? Nobody likes to China. see the uh, a but better. Uh, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Unless they know what their names are. Oh, it's quite funny, actually. <laughs> and then drop. Um, what the? Did you please eject these hackers? <laughs> They're not hackers, bro. Right? They could probably just be people in our class that are just different names. You know that, right? It really doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Like, because if they win, then they'll matter. say their name. If they don't win, Okay, we are going to start now. Yeah, fabulous. Hare so, I was here 32. <laughs> names Can really I start? Know. Yes. 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 Three, two, two one, one, go. We had Bhagavatam Rita was written by. Where's my audio? This is so. Come on, Krishna Goswami, Jiva Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami. <laughs> this is so easy. Lightning. Yeah, this is so easy. If someone gets this wrong, like, if someone says Tamil Krishna Goswami, I'd be surprised. 
Good. 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 Mother Draupadi. No, Mother Draupadi. Who's still his mom? I think Mother Kunti. I think Mother Kunti. Yes, absolutely amazing. Guys, it's Uttarai. Guys, it's Uttarai. Mother Kunti. Chat me. Okay. Answer is Mother Uttara. Wow. Why did we try to teach you all? Just like you all. Krishna, Janavi, all of them. They, I, 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 hackers. Wait, I think the joke is you, but better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bank started out on a journey to find the place of devotee. Parvatamani, Parvatamani, Naradamani. Oh, this is so easy. It's Everyone can get this it. It was your teacher. Who started I think it's really taking a while. <laughs> Is it isn't supposed to be so Narada, easy? Everyone should be I'm taking my turn. My turn. Because someone is screaming out the answer all the time. Just oh, like, no, no, I'm not right as well. It's so that's the easiest, by the way. Okay. So he, who no. climbed up? The one Frey climbed up. Yeah, I, mean, I have an answer streak, fire answer streak. You know, I do have. Hmm. The Brahmana at Prayag was worshipping Dash, Gopaldi, Shalagram Shila. Ganges, go over there. This is quite easy for me. Shalagram yeah. Shila. Please don't scream out the answers. Please, everyone mute. Let no. everyone think, please. You can say the wrong answer. <laughs> yeah, you could say the wrong answer. Just don't try to say the right one. Very good. Everyone got it right. Excellent. Except for us. And then everyone will say all the answers. We can confuse other person. Don't say the right answer. Is, let me do it. If, if they say the correct it. right uh, wrong answer, if they say all the three other and the then answer is yellow. Okay, okay, I'll try it. Okay. The Brahmana. The South Indian King directed Narada to go and see. The Brahmana. Which one? Google, Google, Google. 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 Oh, yellow, yellow, sorry, yellow. Yeah, this is yellow. Oh, yeah. Yellow. Yeah. 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 Yellow. Yellow, yellow, great fellow. Just know what the answer is. <laughs> yeah, because there is only two options. You're telling the wrong one. Two answers. Everybody, please make a mistake. Very good. I really got a thousand on the Machi, can you mute That's everyone? You want me to mute everyone? No fun? Okay, let me mute everyone. That is the son of Garbodakshai Vishnu. Who's the oh, son of Vishnu? Vishnu? Brahma, Indra. It's blue. It is the red one. Brahma. Blue. Brahma. Brahma. Oh, no, no. Technically, um, Brahma. Shiva. Brahma. Yeah, I did. Brahma. 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 I will kill that. What the answer was? Shiva says Narada to Vaikuntha. Carefully answer this, okay? Most of you will get it wrong. Be very careful when you answer this. Two? Yeah. Yes. How many of you are teaching? She does what? I got it, got it. I got it, got it. How about like no one shouts out the answers for like true and false because like if someone says false, everyone knows the answer is true. It's something like that. Prahlad lives on a planet called Indralok. 
Satan, Brahmalo, Sutala. Blue. Oh, no, this is most confusing. Yeah, I got this. I will be little tricky for me. Margie, but the thing is, I got it correct. Very good. Very good. Only the thing is, in the clothes, people are saying, so in the clothes. Fabulous hair. Hanuman serves the Lord in Sakya Rasa. True. Sakya Rasa means in friendship. People, people. Bitto, bitto. People, false. True, 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 Kauravas, Pandavas, Kanuman, Bakis and our kids. 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 The king of the Yadavas is King Ugra Singh. True or false? I have no idea. Do to me. The answer is false. 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 If it's blue, it's true. We want to Oh, this is so easy. mother, Krishna's mother, Balaram's mother. Oh, it's my mother. My mom. It's my mom. It's my mom. It's my mother. 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 Dash is the first and chief queen of Krishna and Dwaraka, the first queen. Radharani, Rukmi, mm -hmm. Rukmini, Satyavama. But red, yeah. red. Oh, red. 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 You tricked us here. Rukmi, everyone tricked us here. What was this for? Red, 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 is it Rukmi a boy? Isn't it a boy? You're right. A mother accidentally clicked a blue mother, so consider it actually 11 because I accidentally clicked. I have some happy Ecstasy is felt by the gopis when they experience love and separation. Ecstasy means extreme happiness. That is inside, they feel happy. If it's blue, it's true. I clicked blue by accident. No way. Um, it's blue. Hey. It's false. Very good. Oh, it's Fabulous. hair. The one prey. Also, eject the one prey. And then you have uh, uh, the names so don't matter. It's the person who's playing them. But everybody is a winner in surf food because you all heard the story of Virat Bhagavatam Vita. And what happened? What boon did you get? You all got the boon of pure devotional service. So everybody is a winner in the podium of Virat Bhagavatam Vita. Very good. Okay, so we have been you know, quick today. We have saved time. We have saved 10 minutes. So anyone wants to say something, something you like in this entire <laughs>
Martha, you can bargain. Yes, go ahead, bargain. I'll sit here. And Martha, when the class was going on, I was writing the the words whatever you were sharing screen. Very good. Very good. I like the story. Like the story, very good. Martha, do you have to stand and listen to everybody, or can we leave? I was supposed to request comes up mother, but then after only I pressed my mother. Oh, nice. Oh. Anyone has any realizations from the story? Um, there, there, the people were screaming out a lot, so like the answers were quite vivid. I think the whole idea was to confuse everyone, right? So everyone should okay, hear the wrong numbers um, and get confused. Otherwise, I'm not Okay. Uh, I like the story. Like this? Very good. I like the story too. Very good. Anyone wants to say realization? Randa said that she wrote down notes. Anything else? Any other realizations you had when you were hearing the story? No realization. Um, I had a realization huh. that, like, well, good job, Jabby. Ev, 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 everyone who mm. says that they're not a good D, D, Wolty is a good D, Wolty. Iron. Oh my God! Such a nice realization. Very, very good. Yes, that is true. Everyone who says that I'm not a good devotee is actually a very good devotee. So nice. Very nice. Mataji? Yes? Um, I realize, I, my realization is that uh, how pure and how much devotion the gopis have towards Lord Krishna. Uh -huh. And uh, they, they have... Um, they have they have very much affection and uh separation ecstatic separation from Krishna, really which nice. they are also kind of inspiration, like to get closer to Krishna. Very good, actually. Well said. Well said. Yes. Very special. Ramachandra. Mataji, I I learned that we should like aspire to be more like the gopis and like always have hankering love for Krishna, just like they did. Very well said. Your name is S Y N A. Fine. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for that realization. Yes, Sriyam. Mataji, I wanted to, I wanted to tell two things. Number one is that a realization means that. Um, you realize something that you didn't know until now. So mm. what? Realize right now is mm -hmm. that um, Brihad Bhagavat Amrita is a story in a story because there are like okay, you could say take this um, Narada's quest thing that it's a story in a story because uh, that's a story and another story is where Parikshit Maharaj still, so that's a story, so it's a story in a story, wow. and then. Um, Mahabharat is also a story, and in Mahabharat, Parikshit Maharaj tells. So it's a story in a story in a story. Wow, very, very nice. Excellent. Good job. Very nice to say. Ramachandra, you raised your hand. Do you want to say something? Yes, Mataji. What I realize is from this is that how much devotion, there's no like greatest devotee. Every single devotee is equally the same. And all the devotees that Narada Muni met, they were all humble and they all said like, no, 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 I'm not the greatest devotee. Somebody else is the greatest devotee. Very nice. Every devotee is great and Krishna loves everybody. And they're all very humble. So whatever Narada he saw, it was just different degrees. That's all. So very nice. Please said Ramachandra. Very nice. All of you have very sweet realizations, as Shriyan said. New, new understandings, realizations. Very nice. Anything else? Hare yeah. Krishna, Mataji. Yes, buddy. Very beautiful uh, Brihad Bhagavatam Amrita session, Mataji. Uh, we heard this from you in the adults class. Uh, that time, even some points, maybe I missed, but because when we are telling it to the children, we yeah. make it very easy 
uh, to understand children at the same time for adults it's very very easy to understand uh, thank you vaduji and with your beautiful ppts and the pictures that you put in um, animation i should thank all the teachers all of them did an amazing job right all the teachers thank you thank you mataji but then you are you are you are the main you know task whatever oh, pika mata ji says main director <laughs> that you have brought in the topic and you did a so lot of audio told us that if someone tells that we did something special what should we do we should close our ears and say no <laughs> Mata ji, I remember, especially when you projected these pictures, right? I remember that our uh, final class in our Brat Bhagwata Amrita. Yeah, there also you projected it. <laughs> thank you, Mata ji, and thank you all so much. So we are not going to stop. Can Balvinda say something? Yes, Balvinda. Thank you, Mata ji. Your class was very nice. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Balvinda. Everyone's class was awesome, right? Yeah, all and Mata ji. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Janavi one. Yeah, right. Janavi one. Yeah, she wants to oh, yes. congratulations, Janavi. Congrats. Very good. Yeah, thank. Mathiji, uh, so the one prey was Janavi. I think uh, the one prey was. Wait, but Mathiji, I also saw Janavi in a different name with fl- with a flower. Yeah. I'm I'm yeah. I'm the one prey. I'm the one prey. This I was in second place. Wonderful. Oh, Ramachandra, you were the one prey. No, this is Prasad. I, I was the I was the one. Who's the hair guy? The, the one who's the, the hair guy? Um, I should. I think he's the hair guy. Hair guy. Okay, so now what we're going to do is tomorrow is Friday. Friday is generally a fun day where you do a lots of uh, different activities. There is no specific Brihad Bhagavatam Rita Katha, but then. Yeah, next Monday. How about we we'll starting the story of Gopal Kumar, and we have all our teachers. Gopal Kumar's story is very exciting as well. It's going to take different turns. We are going to travel through different planetary systems. Okay, he's going to go to all sorts of places that you have never heard of. Yes. So let's do that from Monday and tomorrow. Please join. The timing is different. It is at ten. Uh, PST, uh, not SPT, the uh, eleven, twelve CST. What is it? Twelve CST, one EST. Yeah. Okay. So you can join at that. Ten PST. Matiji, I'm in California. So what time is it going to be? Ten PST. Ten, ten. Ten. Ten in the morning. So only on Fridays the time is different. Matiji. Okay, oh, is it today a Friday? Tomorrow is Friday. They so want sun. Mm. Say it. Say it. Uh, say it. Uh, what do you want to say? You said you want to say something. Uh, I want to say um. Mata ji, can you leave? Yeah, you can leave. We're all gonna leave. Rupa, what do you want to say? Uh, what do you want to say? I realized that Krishna, that he, he's just started. Um, I don't know. That's just uh, it. Uh, so uh, it's so now or never. Say it. Uh, now. Okay. What do you want to say? Face. I want to say that. Um. Uh. Um, um what did you learn from today's class um i learn i learn i learn about uh uh i learned i learned krishna krishna gets mercy uh i learned uh you just keep on saying ah uh, What did you realize today? I realized Krishna was what? Yeah. Krishna was what? Krishna was uh uh Krishna was uh uh Krishna, I don't know it's um, that song. Uh, 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 Krishna was merciful. Is that what you realized, Rupa? 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful, Rupa. So nice. Thank you for pouring out your heart here. Thank you. I really like your realization, dear. <laughs> yes, Krishna is indeed very wonderful. Okay. Oh, Tushita is showing us something. What is that? I'm not showing anything. I was just playing with my unicorn picture. Very good, dear. Very good. And who is that? Same. Mati, did, <clears throat> did we finish the Kahu game yet? We are done. We finished. Okay. Okay. So we can end the call here and we'll meet tomorrow. Please join at the correct time, which is the afternoon time. And you know, uh, you just watch out for the post. What time is it, Mataji? What time do we need to join tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, uh, if you're in the Pacific Coast, it is at 10. If you're in Central, it is 12. If you're in Eastern, it is 1 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Okay.